And here's the Corpus Christi band getting themselves warmed up and ready for the contest. Field judge, Mr. Ethan Carter. Side. My neighbor. Wide receiver, number 34, Josh Cameron. And wide receiver. And the undefeated Eagles take the field to get things started here. It's like about a 60-yard game. Second and three on the 32. No problem moving that ball for first down and 14 yards. And another seven yard game. The Eagles moving the ball with ease so far. And they're so oh, that's a good spot. That'll bring up third and three on the on the Timber Rolls 47. He's off back to pass. He's got his man. That'll be a first down. First and 10 on the mark at the 40. You want to be watching number one. He's a star wide out. My final game brings us two undefeated teams. The Eagles showed us why they are undefeated. Now we'll take a look at those Timberwolves from Austin, Texas. Takes a good Timberwolf bounce. Whoa, a real good bounce down to the half yard line. And a beautiful connection up to the 35. So much for Pin D. Holding in the end zone. Not the safety folks. Good mid-range kick to the 30. He's got some speed. He's looking dangerous. And he's stopped around the He goes 30 seconds. He drops back. He's got his man.
It's a fake punt. He's got the room. There's not enough. Well, he may have gotten the first down. After the holding, that brings us fourth and 17. He gets it off for a short punt. And that'll be a run off the gut. Oh no! Play action. Second and ten. He breaks one tackle. He breaks another. He's on his way, folks. He's up to the 37 yard line. After a gain of seven, we have second and three. All by himself. Locks in for the touchdown. So far, the Timberwolves have received some fortunate penalties. After being moved back and the touchdown erased, they are on the second and 13. Gain of three by the running back. Third and 12. And a big third down on the 36 yard line. He drops back, he surveys the field. He's got some space, and he does run to near where the chain is. On fourth and one, they will go for it. Carson center kick, tied up, no taking himself, and he's got them up here. He goes driving after converting on the 22 yard line. He drops back. He's got his guy looking good. With 4.33 remaining in the fourth quarter, he's got a second and ten for the Eagles. That'll go for about four yards. And a big third and seven on the 20 yard line. He's got his face. That'll move the chains. Not a good stand though by the Timberwolves. They're going hurry up off there. Go for it himself and we'll get about half of it. Fourth and seven, uh, attempt three. No good. No good. No good. No good. He's got space. He's fucking up for the corner. Yeah. 
Rock snap. He's going to try to get it himself. And he does. Center kick looks like he has a size needed to convert when he needs to. First and 10 and 41 of the Timberwolves. Got a score of 7 to 2. Someone jumped again. And after one, we've got the Eagles 7, the Timberwolves 2. Nothing going there. After a loss of two, we've got third and 17. He drops back. Oh, nice. The Timberwolves swarm. That's called pack attack. And with a fourth and 19, they line up, but it'll probably be a boot stick here. Kind of good one. A good one. Good run back to the 31 yard line. So far, time of possession heavily favoring the Eagles, but the Timberwolves take the field. They're getting their gears oiled now, folks. And a gain of three on first down. Second and six. After that two point conversion, we have a score of Timberwolves 10, Eagles 7. A mid range returnable kick. He fights forward to the 27. Well, we'll see if Cedric Pick can get his star receiver, Cameron De La Pina, number one involved on this side. Timberwolves are one of Austin's strongest teams. Like Travis used to be 5A, and they were one of their major rivals. They're a team that's ranked high in Texas standings, I believe as high as perhaps 16. The Eagles are ranked about 50. Second and 15. Just a momentum you can feel. Send the back to pass. That was the star receiver I spoke about. But he couldn't call it in. And a big and one field crucial third and 15. And back to pass. Yep, and that will draw the flag as I suspected with that hand on the arm. After the defensive pass of the field, we have a box play on first and ten. And the Eagles get a great first in. Got some space up the middle. Going for seven yards. Third and two at the 35. Set up the drop down. Plenty of noise here on the Timber Wolf sideline. Little hitch out to the slot, and he's got enough to move the two. That completion was to star receiver Cameron De La Pena. A little high that time. 
second and ten, right up the middle. He's got space. He breaks it for a nine-yard game. He's up till about the three yard line. Come on, get the ball. Get a fumble. Let's go. Second and four. Center pick drop stop. Going to the right. Someone in his face. And the first stop. We've got second and eight after a illegal man downfield. Penalty on the Eagles. Looking, looking, beautiful. Floats one up to his wide out. That is the star they look for for that reception. That'll be good for a score of 14 to 10. Back, Cheetah, Mark Mitchell, 34 yard line, he drops back to pass. Oh no! That looks like an eagle recovery. So far the turnover battle going to the Eagles. After dominating every opponent, Cheetah Park finds himself in a fight. Big number two, Carson, center six. Oh, he's got a good lane. Up for five yards. Third and long, he goes. He's dropping back, looking, looking. Close to an off to the left. And that will be in the He's fourth and eight at about the 24-yard line. Nifty running back, gains about six. Second and four. Rolls driving. Oh, a beautiful out. Only enough for about a 15 yard game. We've got 540 remaining in the half with a score of 14 to 10. Jimmy Rolls. Jack with the ball. Second and four, Jack on the cap. He's back, good play fake. He's got it. Beautiful. I thought he hauled it in. Uh-oh, the legal man down here. That'll pull back what looks like a beautiful catch, folks. Kick. That will be returnable. Nope. Got a play, got a play. With an out of bounds kick, the ball gets placed at the 30 yard line. Eagles will take over. The Timberwolves rally and drive them back. The loss of one will bring about a second and 11. And his 
Nice play action here. Final game seven. Third and two. That'll be enough to move the team. Cameron De La Pena. And with 3.20 left in the ball game, we got center pick rolling right. Shooting right, he's got his man up to the 45-yard line. The clock continues to tick at the Cedar Park 45 with 258 remaining in the half. has a very nice play action run. Backs out to De La Pena. I have a feeling we're going to see that play over and over. Second down and three. Second and three from the 37 yard line of the Wolves. Push forward for enough for the first down. Play comes in at the end. Looked to me like it may be a defensive excess. Face pass on the defense. First and 10 on the 19 after the face pass. So. He's rolling out, rolling out, rolling out. And he'll throw that one away. Cedar Park, their name is always in the mix around state. But I haven't really heard of Veterans Memorial. I'm not a great student of the 5A division. Huge play, right play right here, 37. But I haven't really heard of the Veterans Memorial Eagles. It's a conversation like the wrong state. So I don't know if it's just my lack of attentiveness to the 5A bracket or what I suspect even more is they just came up with a great group of kids. And they're doing things maybe that have never been done before in Copper Code. Everything's right as the Eagles poise for a strike with 36 kicks remaining. And the clock is kicking. I think at some point they would call a first down. Around the end. That'll be a Veterans Memorial touchdown. Up and good. That was 25 seconds remaining in the half. The Eagles lead 7, 21 to 17. He's got some space. He looks like a dangerous man. He's going... Oh my gosh! Oh! The return man tries to create some opportunity to no avail. And with nine ticks remaining, he drops back, rolls right, throws right. First and ten at the 35, six seconds remains in the half. He's rolling left, rolling left. He's going to run that one himself. with a score of 21 to 17. The second half begins with the Eagles ahead by a score of 21 to 17. He drops back. He's got his man in stride. First and 10 at the Eagle 40. He drops
drops back. He's got number 20, just couldn't quite haul it in. Second and 10 at the Eagles 41 yard line. He drops back to pass. He surveys the field. He's rolling right. Sorry I didn't quite catch that for you. That was a beautiful reception at the 16 yard line. Like that quarterback had a fine tuning done on, it, on his arm at halftime because he is gutting them right on target this time. It's been a great back and forth seesaw battle. He drops back. He's got his man right on. Whoa, what a tackle! Pulls him down by his arm. That was a tremendous defensive effort. The one. Down at the one here. <laughs> Second and goal. One and a half yards to go. He'll give it to the back and he's got it. Touchdown Cedar Park. Good. And Cedar Park retakes the lead. 24 to 21. On a beautiful evening of about 51 degrees here at the Alamo Stadium. And that was even quicker than the Eagles opening drive in the first half. At only a minute and 54 seconds. Cedar Park retakes the lead. I found out why I had never really heard of, of Corpus Christi in the talk of state finalists because it's a rather new school, Veterans Memorial. Four years, a high kick. And he will head out. Oh, he's got some space. He's got some blockers. Oh, a nice tackle. Chops him down at the 19 yard line. And the Eagles will take over at the 18 yard line. The running back's got it. He's pushing up for about three. Second, six and a half. Looking for the play to be queued in. Number two has it going on with number one. There it is again. Number two to number one. Jalapeno, I believe, is his name. One gets the feeling they could do that all day. It's a fumble. Cedar Park says they have it. Whoa, by the way, that guy is shaking his fist. It's true. They take over at the 33 yard line. 24 to 21, the Timberwolves will take it and drive from the 35. Eagles are down by 10 points. 
40 remaining in the third quarter at San Antonio Alamo Stadium. Beautiful night for football. Number four will fight his way up to the 43 yard line. We've got a third and two. Well, they gave him the first down. Fans over here are not happy with that spot, but it will be first and ten and a gain of one and a half. score to 31 to 21 with six minutes remaining in the third quarter. Good protection. He's gone all day back there. Now his time is running out. Second and 10 on the Eagles 40 yard line. Number four. Oh, he's got a great goal. Nice little jump cut at the end. And he's got 15 yards and a first down. They're doing the hurry up. Don't even get the chains moved before they snap the next play. They like what they have in terms of momentum. And they're trying to drain, drive in the dagger. They've got the defense on their heels with that hurry up offense. And we've got an eagle that's a little slow to get up. There's right here on the left side. Got it, right over here, 101. Beautiful, hits him in stride. Hits him in stride for another Cedar Park touchdown. Now the question is, will the Eagles be able to rally and make the comeback? Down by 16 points, with 451 remaining. We got us some good fans over here cheering on their boys with a chat of Cedar Park. Nobody seems concerned about any kind of virus except the beat the other team virus. Not a good driving kick. That'll touch it. Now you got to uh -oh. Now you got to run it. Get him. Stretch it out. Stretch the field. Stretch the field. There you go. The return man probably wishes he just let that one go. Slow developing play. Those slow developing plays do not work in Texas high school playoffs. You need crispness. You need deliberate plays that develop quickly. These guys are just too fast for that kind of fumbling around. We've got second and 11. Way back. Right here. Put some pressure. That for maybe the biggest third down in his life. He converts. Oh! 
possibly convert, possibly within a half a yard. And they gave it to him. Here he goes. Keep it in himself. He's got space. Up for six yards. They needed that third down and they got it. And now they're on the march. Third and short. Oh, they were stubborn. We've got a score of 21 to 38 with 15 minutes remaining in the ball game. One gets the feeling that this is not an optional drive. They must get something on this drive. And with a reversal of two fortunes, Cedar Park takes over. The snap is low. The flag flies. After a false start, they are backed up to the 11 yard line. Off his back heel, he's got his guard perfectly. Touchdown, Cedar Park. And with four unanswered touchdowns, the Timberwolves kick off. A driving kick, now let it go. There you go. And a fired up Timberwolves squad pushes him back. I don't know what that coach said to these Timberwolves at halftime, but whatever it was, it worked. They came out fired up and acting like the championship team they've been known for. Third and 11. And the Eagles will have to punt. Get it, get it, get it, get it! A good job by that punter to recover. And a good roll for the Eagles. Taking over with a minute seven left to go in there. And a beautiful reverse. Get around, get around, get around. He's got space. But no, he's hauled down after a two and a half yard game. Looks like a whole different team in this second half with the quarterback throwing tight spirals. Timberwolf team on the march at the 31 with a 24 point lead. The Eagle Band trying to drum up some. Running back stopped after a gain of three. Yeah. The winning tradition of Cedar Park is continuing here tonight. They are 133 to 20 in the last 11 years with two state championships and having played in a third. They're knocking on the door in this semifinal. Whoa! This quarterback has a knack of throwing off that back heel rather accurately. I'm a little confused why these receivers are so open. I understand him threading it in there, but these guys have been like open, open. In 2014, my son and in 2014, my son Abe and I went into a taco joint to eat, and there was a whole front line of the Cedar Park Timberwolves, and every guy was three, four, and over 300 pounds, and all ended up going D1 that year.
He wants to give it a run. Oh, look at him! Oh, he had some space. I don't know that if it could be blocking the back. But... Some frustration coming out on the field there. Here's to be two penalties the on the Eagles. That'll go to the eight, and then it'll go to the four. Yard penalty for the block in the back. That was a great effort by the return man. Catches it going backwards. First and ten at the seven yard line. Score 52 21. 11 42 remains. And a good four yard carry. He has great height to start with, and with that little jump, he made a wonderful catch. Moved him out to the 40. Oh! Spearing the quarterback, no flag. In the NFL, a quarterback hit one third that savvy would draw the flag. And I guess here in Texas, they let him play. Holding penalty will drive back to Eagles 10 yards. It's first and a lot of real estate. He drops back, he's got time. Beautiful diving catch. He gets a connection with Calapete going again. Throws it away wisely. Pass it to Ferris, penalty moves the Eagles up 15 yards. And they continue to drive. He's unloading, he's got his man. First down and goal to goal. An attempt at the air is rebuffed. Second and three. He'll keep it himself and he looks like he's got it. Offside kick takes a nice bounce and it's fielded by steady hands. The onside kick gives the Timberwolves great field position at the 50. Preston gets to the 40. And we've got second and one. Second and one is the best thing to have right now this time of the day. Clock is ticking, 720, 719, 717. Great effort for us. Oh, a good strong forward to the 7th. Direction to about the 7 and a half yard line. 549 for me. Denton Ryan is 
beating their opponent 42-47. And looks like they will be the ones that Cedar Park faces. That was a running pattern. 59 to 28, five minutes remaining. He hauls it in. They have stepped out. 454 remaining. They will punt the ball. Far, you did well. Keep your head high, and I'm wishing those Timber Wolves the best in the next round, which will be the final round at Jerry Jones World in Dallas, AT&T Stadium. Here we come.